What you just watched was pro-Palestinian protesters attempting to tear down a fence outside the White House. Thousands of activists rallied in Washington DC on Saturday, condemning President Biden for his support of Israel. And this is how parts of the protest unfolded. <laughs> As you can see there, some protesters were shaking the fence viciously and the New York Post is reporting that others threw water bottles and Palestinian flags at officers. It comes as the world marks 100 days since the outbreak of the war between Israel and Hamas. 1,200 Israelis were killed in the initial October 7 attacks. Since then, 24,000 Palestinians have lost their lives in Israeli airstrikes. It's believed 132 hostages are still being held in Gaza. But Hamas says the fate of the many hostages in Gaza is unknown, admitting some of them may have been killed. It has become a mantra for Jews and Israelis the world over. Three simple words, bring them home. Bring them home. Bring them home. 100 days since the October 7th attacks and more than 130 hostages remain in captivity. Thousands coming to London's Trafalgar Square to ensure they're not forgotten. It makes me feel sick. Um, and what's the hardest thing is that I feel like the world is asleep. I think the world has forgotten, um, forgotten the hostages, have forgotten how this, how this began. Among those in captivity is Ayelet Svatitsky's brother Nadav, one of two UK nationals still being held. It's a nightmare that we just can't wake up from. Um, waking up every morning, trying to you know, stay hopeful, but we, we worry. Um, is time running out? I, I believe so. Former Home Secretary Suella Bravman was also in the crowd and joined in a 100-second silence. We need to stand with Israel continually throughout this bitter and cruel and evil conflict. It's clear there's still a great deal of sympathy for the remaining hostages and all those affected by the October 7th attacks. But that is just one side of the story now, of course. The other is what's happening in Gaza and the fact that Israel now stands accused of genocide in the International Court of Justice. More than 23,000 Palestinians have been killed by Israel's offensive, according to the Hamas-controlled health ministry in Gaza, where today Israeli tanks were seen on the border. We are fighting a defensive war to bring back the hostages we fear Hamas is raping. How can the killing of more than 20,000 Palestinians be counted as defensive? We are acting in accordance with international law to pursue Hamas. Unfortunately, Hamas has spent the last 16 years cynically embedding its military infrastructure under civilian areas. We have been trying to evacuate and they have been prevented from evacuating. But what is condemned by many outside Israel needs no justification by those still missing loved ones. Here in Tel Aviv, another rally demanding the hostages' release. This nation forever altered.